moving <laughs> on now. And they say in polite company, you should never talk about politics, sport or religion. Here on the project, though, we like to break all of those rules. Many of us grew up learning about the little baby Jesus, Noah's Ark and Adam and Eve. They're awesome stories, especially that one where Charlton Heston parts the sea. <laughs> How cool was that? And for a century, Christian beliefs have been taught in Aussie schools. But with our ever-changing cultural landscape, do we need a rethink? In a landmark case to broaden the educational church, a parent groups launched a bid to end the predominant teaching of Christianity. They want to see all cultures embraced equally by the education system. The union supports the teaching of comparative religion. It's important that students learn about religion as part of their society. But logically, some people think the idea is misguided. The Christian religion has been taught in our government schools for more than 100 years and it's done no harm, it's been an overwhelming force for good. Australia is made up of people from over 150 different nations, with about 30 religions and faiths represented, absolutely including a large atheist and Christian population. So while it's clearly a topic people feel passionately about, what does everyone's favourite man of the cloth, Father Bob, think? Yeah, I think, Charlie, thank you for asking the question. <laughs> We're all in this together, mate. So let's look after one another. Now, if, if you can get that through in state schools and religious schools, well, then we would really have a common world. Here endeth the lesson. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Tim Heasley is for Fairness in Religion in Schools. He's been on his local school council for years and he knows a thing or two about this situation. So what is the precise problem that you've got with government schools teaching Bible studies? I suppose the main issue is that it, it effectively, the way that the, the government um, runs the policy is it segregates the children. So there's an opt-in or an opt-out system whereby those who want to play, play, uh, go and have their Bible studies and those that don't sit in the corridor or to go and do something else. And effectively we're segregating children along religious uh, lines. So Tim, do you see a role for Christianity at all in the schools? I see a role for Christianity as part of a general religious education system that teaches our kids about all the world's religions and, and you know, that's going to encourage tolerance, understanding, I, I think that's a good thing. I guess one of the best things I would say I learnt from the Bible studies that I had to sit through uh, every year at school was that of, you know, the good values, the respecting each other, and respecting your elders, being part of the community. And those kind of values exist across many of our major religions and, and, and that could be a good thing for our students to learn about. In, indeed it could, but I don't think religions have a mortgage on values. I think, you know, we learn values from our families, from our community, from our teachers. And uh, I don't think untrained volunteers coming into our schools are necessarily necessarily going to strengthen the values of our children. Tim, 25% of Aussies say they're either atheist or agnostic. Um, why don't we just cut religion out of school completely? I mean, RE classes are the most boring at school. <laughs> I know, I've had a lot of experience. Yeah, look, uh, look, and a lot of people advocate that. We, we don't. Uh, we see value in teaching about religions, about religious history and, the, and, and its place in, in world, the world's history. Um, yeah, tolerance, understanding. Cutting it out, we're just not going to learn about why other people dress differently and have other customs. Definitely something to think about, and thanks very much for sharing it with us tonight. Thanks for having me. And we actually had a web poll on this today. What religion should be studied in state schools? 18% say Christianity, 42% say all major faiths, 40% say none of them at all. Can I just say, uh, Carrie, if you learn to respect your elders, how about giving me a break sometime, to be honest? <laughs> I just recently had this experience. So I went to my daughter's school orientation and they said, oh, you know, religious studies are on Thursday. And we said, oh, we don't want to put Coco into that specific religious study. And they said, oh, okay, no problem. She can just read a book in the corner. And I thought, oh, is she being discriminated against or penalised because she doesn't punished. want to go to that? And she said, no, surprisingly, there'll be about half the class in the corner. Reading yeah. books. So, <laughs> so, well, so why is it so bad to teach all religions? Like, so, why why I, is that so I, hard? I reckon the issue is that it's just heavily skewed towards Christianity. Like, I, I, I think that it's good to teach all the religions. And I think if they're going to do it in schools, they should teach it as cultural studies mm. rather than one religion. Which is what he was calling the, for yeah. The well. only subject I failed at in all my high school was year 11 RE, honestly. That's all I... But that was, when, that was the subject where I learnt to be a comedian. So. <laughs> I don't think he can even fail that subject. Well, brother O'Brien, he failed me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more in a sec.